Paul Simpkins is the referee for this match. We are underway. Red and white, the two teams. The Steelers running from left to right for the first 40 minutes. And it was clinched with a first touch for Lance Thompson, who was driven sideways in the tackle of Mackay and also Bradstreet. Now Daniel Wagon gets his first touch, and there was a, a tackle that got a little high there on Daniel Wagon, playing right wing today for the Dragons. Now Wayne Bartram. The defence is up quickly. Glen Eyre was there first. Trent Barrett also. He is a real player to watch, the number six for the Steelers. As Darren Tracy has a hit up on the blind, and inside the 10, the Steelers. Manley Jr., who is linked up on the south coast. Back with Barrett. Again, kicking from inside. He's 40. Not a bad boot. But again, he's found Smith. The Steelers chase the six and seven in a line. And Smith met by McGregor. No way through there. Brunker. Worth having a look at the head-to-head -head for these two clubs since the Steelers entered the competition back in 82. Fairly tight there, 15 wins to the Dragons, 11 to the Steelers. And St George with a good record here too at what was formerly known as Steelers Stadium. Now Hearn, just shy of halfway. Another player who is expected to take part in this year's Origin Series. Clinch, a dummy, then back for Brown. Bristow getting through plenty of defence for the Steelers. One of the young brigade in this lineup. Clinch kicking from inside his own half, straight to Wisher. Lovely take on the left shoulder. And a big second half last week against Balmain, Rod Wishart. He's the last person in the world that you want to kick the football to and give some space. Wishart has been in flying form to start this year off. As Illawarra have got pretty good field position early in the tackle count. Their forward's playing very strongly at the moment. They go to the back line. This is Barrett. Barrett almost slipping through and the left arm was free. He's working the blind side for McGregor. There is a pass for Wishart who puts it down. McGregor, one of the most dangerous players in the game, just giving us a glimpse there. I think we've seen Adrian Brunker learn a very important lesson here that you can't come in off your wing with Paul McGregor. Beautiful ball work there. Rod Wishart unable to take it, but as soon as McGregor can get in a two-in-one situation, he's going to get his arms free. He was their top tackler in 96, Lance Thompson. Averaged 25 tackles a game. Clinch pushes along for Kenwood. Inside ball. Finding Tracy. He's certainly looking more dangerous today, Darren Tracy. Now Clinch for Brown. And then across, there's a chance on the right side. Coin for Brown. Will this be the first try? It certainly will. Daniel Wagon. Beautifully worked by the Dragons. That is Shades of 96. Yeah, lovely try there. And Nathan Brown featuring very prominently. Did a marvellous job to stay alive as they go to the back line. Goes to Brown now. He realised something else. We freeze it there. Just watch Brown, who's got the football. There's a little bit of space. The big sidestep from Coyne brings him back in. Brown goes around. The play continues. There's the step. Brown makes the extra man. That forces the winger to come in. And a pretty simple run to the line for for Daniel Wagon, but excellent work here from the hooker. He plays like a halfback at times, throws the dummy, the step back inside, going low, Timmons, that enabled Coyne to get rid of the football. Beautiful catch and pass from Nathan Brown, and then the big step, Daniel Wagon. He's Queensland born. I'm sure Fatty's at home watching closely. So Bartram has this kick from 10 in from touch. 176 points last year for Wayne Bartram. The right boot. It's going to swing very close. It is inside the left upright. And the Dragons make the start they wanted. 6-0 over the Steelers. Yeah, well, I think he, he brought that upon himself. He rushed up to try and take an intercept from Tony Hearn. Got a little bit upset that he missed. A good ball from Brown. Got Tracy. Tracy stands up Brendan Rees with a bit of toe. Now kicking for the wing of Broker. This could be a sensational time. Oh, he's it. knocked on. Play on for the Steelers. Oh, that would have been a perler for the Dragons. Oh, could he have caught that on the full? I think he's going to be a key member for the, the Steelers at this year as Callaway finds Barrett. And Barrett gets the pass back for Callaway. Looming in support is Tunbridge. Barrett, last tackle, deciding to run the football. Rodball, now for Clifford. Oh, hasn't he got some toe? Was he taken over the sideline? Touching goal is the call. Well, big work from both teams. Didn't he put the foot down? Wayne Clifford. 
I haven't seen Wayne Clifford play before, but you can see why he's up around the top try scorers. Strong runner and very, very quick. But that is magnificent defence coming across. Coyne got a bit of assistance. I think it's Smith who came and helped. And it was a big effort to stop the winger from scoring as the Saints restart. That's a Shepherd. Well, it's almost in slow motion too, the Shepherd. I don't really know whether a defender was taken out simply by the speed of the play. Well, let's just see if any defender is impeded. Well, Paul McGregor was the begin beginning of it, but still came up with the tackle, so the referee probably could have called that play on. And right now, Rod Wishart. Good record this season. Ten successful kicks from 23 metres out. Rod Wishart has given the Steelers their first points. The Dragons, six, Saturday afternoon football. Lead the Steelers in the Manly area. Billy Bradstreet, his dad. Now Reeves. John Cross standing wide and is through. John Cross. A stumble prevented the Steelers really going on the boil. Last tackle. Barrett. He thought about passing. Now kicking. Smith and Brunker are back for the Dragons. They collide and Brunker comes down with it. Clinch ended up with a football. It's the last tackle for the Dragons. Nathan Brown. Where will the kick end this time? Back for Rodwell, who is there. The bounce is a big one for St George. It's competition there for the football. Well, I reckon that's a Dragons try. It looks so untidy that the Dragons get four points out of it. Lenahan is the try scorer. Yes, Lenahan chases you on the kick, and I think you've got to put that down as a mistake by Brett Rodwell not trying to get to the football on the full. He had to turn and chase. I really think he had to try and play at that football. The bounce was a horror for him. By bouncing so high, it gave everybody a, a chance to chase through, and I think he'll will be disappointed that there weren't more support players back there to help both he and Rod Wishart. Straight up in the air, the momentum with the chases, Wishart nearly had it, but there you can see more St George jerseys than Illawarra jerseys, and Lanahan was the key man. Well placed kick there, although I do think Rodwell could have got the football on the full, and if he'd been able to do so, of course, he'd have come back to the 20-metre line, restarted for the Steelers, and the pressure was off. Only 11 out, five metres off centre. A very handy lead this is for the Dragons now. After 26 minutes, it's 12-2. His off-field dilemma has been well documented, but this is his second week back in Steelers colours. Barrett for Reeves. That was almost a high one there from Brad Smith. Well, the crowd are unhappy, but I think he fell into it. Brad Mackay. Want to really get it going for the Steelers. Mackay. Seven hit-ups and 13 tackles in this first half. Barrett. There's a pass for Wisher. He had to run quickly at the last moment as it floated. McGregor stepping off the left. Last tackle for the Illawarra side. Here's a penalty on the last. Nathan Brown and Corey Pearson with the tacklers in a presentation two points if they want it. Well, Wishart has the attempt from only 15 out. He put his own club record of 22 points in a match in round one against South Sydney. And there's another two to his season tally and his career tally. Rod Wishart, two goals, four points for the Steelers. 30 metres out from their own line. They've had their defensive line broken a couple of times in the match, the Steelers. In the main, they've been fairly effective. Not this time, though. They get something going, the Dragons. Damian Smith gets the pass, put down by Brad Smith. They've got three Smiths out, out there, none of them related. And Rodwell is with it for the Steelers. Cross, Craig Smith, the Steelers front rower. Trying some speed and handled well by Nathan Brown. Callaway, cross. There's some trouble here for the Dragons as Cram gets inside the 20. The Steelers standing deep to the right. Reeves for Barrett. Kenwood came up quickly. McGregor, well tackled oh, by Lenahan. Tackle. Good tackle. Wishart. It's going to appear to be back to 10. Thompson, that time he was the one coming up quickly. Callaway for cross. Cross now for Clifford. Wasn't a good pass, but Clifford tries to make the most of it. A metre short of the try line. The Steelers, Callaway for Reeves, stepping. Thompson shuts it down over the top. Coyne was there down below. Cross a diving pass. Rodwell, Rod 
football. Big tackle from Nathan Brown on the last. A try saver from the Dragons hooker. And you wonder whether Brett Rodwell knew it was the last. He probably had to try and fling the ball to the right somehow. Good football from both teams. Desperate defence from St George and good attack. Let's have a look. Rodwell, he, he probably thought that he might have been released by Nathan Brown and, and may have had the opportunity to get up and keep going. But Brown clung on the second half with just that eight-point deficit and the wind at their back. A 14-point deficit would be much tougher. A key part of the game coming up here this last minute and a half before oh, the break. Oh, Hearn. Mackay went for a, a roundhouse right over the top. It comes for Thompson. The blind side for the Dragons. They're 25 metres out from the Steelers' line. Nathan Brown with Gavin Clinch. Then for Kenwood. Kenwood. Pearson. Well, all the tackles getting a little high. Pearson, a one-hander. Miraculous pass as he was falling. St. George side inside the Steelers' 20. Bartram quick hands there. It comes back for Pearson, then for Brown. Somehow he got the football away under the attention of three players. And a ruck later, some beautiful interchange passing there. Very close to a forward pass here and there. But Nathan Brown, good support play from him once again. And Ken with the 5-8. His third club. Canberra first up, then the Gold Coast, and now the Dragons. Bartram. He's had a few kicks from this spot. And no troubles at all for Wayne Bartram. Successful again, 18 points to four. Nathan Brown heavily involved in the lead-up. He's had some attention while Bartram was lining up the goal. Here's the replay again. But Nathan Brown, you'll find, has a heavily strapped left leg after that. I made the comment that it might have been close to a forward pass involved in that movement. We're at a bad angle here. All the passes were fine. No problems there at all as the half-time siren has sounded. And at the break, the Dragons, three tries to nil. They lead by 18 points to four. Saturday afternoon football on Channel 9. Welcome back to Wynn Stadium. That halftime score line, the Dragons 18, the Steelers four. These two sides, quite a few missed tackles and handling errors. Both the coaches won't be happy with that. Obviously, the, the tackles are, are very similar there. Line breaks favouring St George. So really looking at those statistics, it's quite a surprise that there is such a gap in the scoreline between these two teams. Mackay and Callaway leading the tackling department for the Steelers. Well, Brown and Thompson, Ward doing very well in that department for the Saints. Brad Un Mackay. Underway for the second half. Mackay, of course, a former Dragons junior. And Tunbridge. 15 inside their own half. The Illawarra Steelers in desperate need of scoring first in this half. Cram is there. These bench players from those hardy Illawarra fans, I guess you don't know too much about Scott Cram and Brendan Tunbridge. A couple of local juniors. Back with Mackay kicking from the 40 metre line. It's a terrible kick. Second time in the match they've gone over the sideline on the full. Well, their, their kicking game last week from Balmain was excellent. Today... It is right off. Doesn't ease any for the Steelers right now. Brad Mackay with a line drop out. With the breeze, though, in the second half. And look at that, 51 metres on the fly. Colin Ward is the man with a carry back past McGregor. Gee, that was a poor attempt from Paul McGregor. Came again and is going to be penalised. 35 out from the Steelers' line. It's an even money bet on what happened. I think it's a pretty tough call against Paul McGregor. I don't think he had any time to get off the tackle player at all. And Bartram, three from three today. He's only missed three this season. From 34 metres out, the kick. Does it have the strength? It hits the upright. And a chance for the Dragons to get a four-pointer. Ward is tackled short, so they've got a full set of six. Lenahan is a dummy half. Jim Lenahan searching for his second try. Taken across field by Tunbridge. Callaway was there as well. Brown. Kenwood. Then Clinch. 
Lynch, McCoy, Thompson is on his outside. He's with it. Lance Thompson offers a left arm fend. Steelers defence hangs on again. Wagon for Bartram. Fires that pass for Kenwood. Kenwood, a dummy to clinch. Again, he gets the footwork. Ah, la Anthony Mundin. Callaway comes up with a tackle. They lose 15 metres on the play. Bartram, Brown, inside for Pearson. Pearson drops it behind him. The Dragons, very untidy. Illawarra back in possession. And the Steelers' defence can have a big pat on the back for that effort. McGregor. Barrett. Just short of the 40 metre line. Sam McQuazen has confronted them at half time, down by 14 points. Callaway, Brendan Reeves. No trouble for the defence coming across. Coyne, Thompson, Bartram, all there. Hunting as a pack. Bradstreet for Glen Eyre. Kicking from the behind the back of a couple of teammates. A good bounce and Wishart is streaming through on Smith and Smith gets away. Damian Smith tackled by Paul McGregor. Go park yourself at Central on a Monday morning, a busy Monday morning. All the people running down the platform, bags everywhere, left and right. The Dragons with Nathan Brown. He almost lost that ball at dummy half. It was a second attempt for the pickup as Bartram gets some space. Now for Wagon. He'll do the hurdle through the centre. He clips the hurdle. It was the arm of Glen Eyre. Eight metres out from the Steelers' line. Bartram. Flick pass for Ward, who loses it. It's play on for the Dragons. Well, that's dubious. Then knocked forward by Smith. That time he's got the knock on. I think justice is done. By Gavin Finch. Clifford it is through the centre. Coming in off his left wing. Steelers trying to work their way out of trouble. Smith, a short ball for Rodwell. They're making some metres through the centre. Bartram, though, is the man who makes the tackle. 19 tackles for Wayne Bartram. Second in the count for the Dragons today. Inside the St George half. John Cross, Glen Eyre. Wider for Barrett. Then for McGregor. Again, that defence is up there. Lenahan, that superb work on Paul McGregor. Giving him no peace. Rodwell had to think about the kick. Then goes for the bomb. Clifford is on the chase. Wagon's attempt was really only half-hearted. It's play on for the Steelers. They'll get a full set of six. Right on the Dragons. Goal line from Dummy Half. They have scored. Yeah, Glen Ayres dived across. Did well. The kick put all sorts of pressure on Daniel Wagon. He didn't get in the right position to catch the football. Got a touch and Rod Wishart. Looked like he was going to score, but just got pulled down short of the line. Breeze didn't help there. Wagon tried to clean up the mistake. Clifford put pressure on. Wishart from the... Tried to score. Now, I think you'll see Glen Eyre realises that the markers are in disarray. In fact, Smith was still on the ground almost. And he dives straight through where Wishart has taken out the fullback. So he got plenty of help from his, his wingman. You've got to wonder whether Rod Wishart could have been penalised there for, for impeding Damien Smith. And they have been for all of this second half. First time they get in their opponent's territory, they put points on the board. Here he is, Rod Wishart, already 36 points for the year. But the kick is well wide, never looked likely. But they're back in it. Within two converted tries now, the Illawarra Steelers. 17 minutes remaining at 18 points to eight. Mackay through the centre, good run. Makes 15 metres, Brad Mackay. Exactly what they needed. Cross for Smith. He does the follow-up. Short pass for Cram. This is good play. He's been excellent since coming off the bench. Scott Cram He's lifted the side. The Fleela Steelers just got a little bit of spring in their step now as Barrett throws a pass to Simmons. Timmons. He did well to hang on to it. And it'll be a penalty. Some momentum coming for the Steelers. What? Again, pushing shove after one that clipped across the neck of Timmons. Oh, this is what the Steelers fans have been waiting for. Cross for Bradstreet. That is the settler to the 20. He copped some when he got to the line. Thompson. He's put on some kilos in the offseason. He really does look strong this year. Rodwell 
What will the Super St George line? Ten out from the tie line. Bronca comes up with a tackle. Ball and all effort. It had to be. Now, Smith lifting. Just a few metres short of the Dragons' try line. Good play the ball. Cross for Bradstreet. Held up by Thompson and Brown. They can go left all right. Cross. Elects to go left with McGregor. Flat-footed. He does a complete turn around Rodwell. It was wrapped up by the Dragons' defence. Ben Custo is now out there. Coyne was also in the tackle. Here it is with Barrett. Then across with Cram. That time, they've just been a little flat in this set of six. Last tackle. They appear to have lost the momentum. Barrett kicking. This is a good one from Barrett. Smith gets there. What a kicker. Held in goal. That's a penalty. A high tackle from Barrett. Barrett rolled the kick through. It was a perfectly placed, placed one. Damien Smith picked the football up, and Barrett, and Barrett has cleaned him up too high. That's the tackle that's been penalised. Ward joining the St George Packers. Darren Tracy leaves the field. Let's see the Steelers in action. Barrett in for Wishart, bumping his way into Custo. An assist from Mark Coyne. Trent Barrett, Smith, lifted in the tackle, able to offload back for Cross. Can advance another five, then for Reeves. The chance was on the left to pass, he elected to run, taken in the tackle of Bartram and Wagon. Reeves for Cross, then for Barrett. Barrett skips out, Mackay with a pass, great hand oh. from Bradstreet. What a catch. Then back through Tunbridge and McGregor, a one-hander for Smith. Acrobatic catching and passing from the Steelers. <laughs> Great work there from a number of players. What about the pick up from Bradstreet? Glen Eyre now, got space to move. Has got Barrett, big hole in the middle for Timmons. Timmons is 20 metres out from the line. Off the deck to pass for Clifford. 10 metres out now. Then for Reeves. Sensational play from the Steelers. Now 10 metres out from the line. Eyre rifles that one for Barrett. He needed support. Bradstreet was late, but inside the 10 with the Dragons. Yeah, good call that one. They were a mile offside. Bradstreet goes up to take the tap. He wants to get a fairly quick one going. Just need to cool it as Mackay. There's still plenty of time left as Cross comes across. Was there a shepherd there? It comes wide for the goal. Oh, no! What happened? Oh, he was over for the try. He was calling across and he's had it stripped. Can you believe it? I think there was a shepherd originally. That one there, definitely a St George player impeded. He has to score. <laughs> oh, that's the player of the year. Gavin Clint. Just a little man or big man. The little man's always going to win. Good tackle. Gavin Clinch. Here is the bomb. Brendan Reeves is now there to answer the challenge. It comes off Brendan Reeves' legs. And that is offside. Well, Reeves just missed time, the leap. Now concedes the penalty, and no option but to go for goal for the Dragons. Bartram has this kick from 12 metres out. On the left-hand side of the uprights, Wayne Bartram. So cool, Wayne Bartram, another two points. 20 points to eight. And it's safe to say the Dragons have their first competition points of the season. Cram, one of the positives that the Steelers will take out of this match, his effort, Hearn tries to spin away from the tackle of David. He's lost the ball. It's play on for the Steelers with Mayor David. Across. Barrett. Is there a gap there? Wishart comes back in field. 22 metres out from the line. In the final minute of the match with Mayor David. Then Ferrer. Now Mackay. Siren sounds. Mackay kicking. The Dragons should have it covered up. Clifford will go close. Clinch cleans up. And that is the end of 80 minutes. And Illawarra, their start to the season, two wins, not a third. The Dragons challenge for 97 is underway. Three tries in that effort, none after half time. And St George win the match by 20 points to eight. The grand finalists of last year, they started with two losses. And some very good signs for them today. And a host of good players as well. As we say, that man on screen, Tony Hearn, is on report. The Dragons ranks within going into the match. Jamie Ainsco, Dean Raper, Luke Felsh, all players that could be considered in their first grade squad. 
Craig Smith on screen, also on report out of the match. So we'll take a break from Wynn Stadium. Peter Sterling will be back to wrap things up. And Steve Roach will have our $1,000 man of the match. The Dragons, the winners. Round three of the Optus Cup.